Hey everybody, I'm Larry. Um, doing the bi-weekly contest 14. I'm uh, going to start in 40 seconds. Uh, wish me luck. Uh, and also, if, you, if you've if uh, enjoyed this, hit the like button, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, hit whatever button you want. Um, also, I usually put these down to sections. So, uh, so look at the comments, click on the section that you want to skip to and uh, let me know if y'all have any questions, and again, wish me luck, because I need a lot of it. <laughs> but, okay. 10 seconds of meditation. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Starting off the contest. Uh, it was sad that I, I missed a click on delete and I had to like drag it because I was I didn't want to risk um, doing them in the wrong order. I mean, it's, the order doesn't really matter, but like just mentally and getting it in a good pace for me, momentum wise. Uh, but yeah, the hex speak. Uh, the first thing I did uh, actually was making sure that I knew how to uh, convert from Python number to hex. Hex is such a common. Uh, operation that I was like, okay, Python must do this, but I haven't done it in a while. Um, so I just want to, I did a quick Google to make sure that, or uh, I did a quick check to see if that was okay. Uh, so I took a little bit longer time here. And, and again, um, if uh, if I was more well-versed in uh, in Python, then I wouldn't have to have to test this. I would just be way more confident and just got it like really quickly, right? So... But yeah, now I have that. I was double checking kind of the uh, the, the question in general, uh, and and then wondering how to uh, how to just attack it because there's there are a couple of ways that I was bouncing around on. One is kind of just use the string, and then the other is just you you know now you have this int, uh, and then you do it like you do the conversion manually. Uh, so then after a while, I was like, how do I want to do this? How do I? Uh, I think I was trying to do like okay, let's replace. The I's and the O's, uh, but then I forgot, to, or I didn't forget, but I was like, okay, let, how do I check it first? Let's do the check. Uh, so I wrote out the check of uh, see if every digit is in, uh, it's in, uh, is between A, or is an alphabet. Do I actually check with Z for some reason? Uh, like it doesn't affect the problem because no, you, know, you can't get higher than an F, but it's still weird, so. <laughs> Now that I look at it, uh, yep. I knew this wasn't sufficient, but I think I just wanted to check. Uh, uh, I was going to do some. In, oh yeah, in. Uh, Inline replacement, but then I was like, oh, "How am I even going to do that?" <laughs> or like in a, I don't know, would have, in an iterator, it would have been a little weird. So I was like, "Okay, how do I do it?" Uh, and then I just looked up the APAC for replace just to make sure that uh, it is what I think it is. Because I don't know, it'd be like. And yeah, and we will place the uh, yeah the zeros and ones with the proper numbers, and then there we go. It's like okay, and then here I yeah just forgot to do this, which I don't know. Coming from C, uh, I think this part I always gets me. I always kind of um, yeah, where characters and um, Characters and ints are the same, uh, but yeah. But here, I, I mean, I, I actually f finished the thing, but, um, but I wanted to check more because I this is just not very confident here, um, uh, because there are a lot of if statements, a little weird. Uh, and good thing I did because I checked ten, no expecting a, um, and I think at this point I knew, but I wanted to make sure. And I wasn't. I mean, I think I could have been faster, but I wasn't like worrying about it too much because I 
feel like this is one of those cases with a lot of edge cases. And here I saw the lowercase a, I um, you know converted to uppercase, and off we go. Yeah, probably could have tested a little bit more now that in retrospect, but I was like feeling good. I was like, okay, it should be okay, uh, and then I was good, very thankfully. We move into those. So this one, um, I look at the inputs almost immediately, and I. To be honest, now that I've looked back, uh, uh, now that I look back, um, I didn't really read the forum statement. I just kind of look at the inputs and then just kind of guess at the forum. I think, to be honest, a lot of times it probably comes back to bite me, but this time it was okay. <laughs> um, I guess it was a easier medium, though, sadly, it still took me four minutes. But... But uh, but yeah, but uh, the way that I would uh, that I thought about this was immediately uh, uh, what do we call it? scan line or uh, uh, line sweep algorithm, uh, and then I try to program that out. The the thing is that it's been a while, so I, I I'm a little out of practice in this type of farm, even though I'm, I'm generally okay at it. So uh, so I'm a little slower than I should be, and that kind of uh, that rustiness kind of uh, shows up here because. Um, I definitely do this in a really weird way uh, uh, because, and it took me until the sorting step, which is coming up in about like 20 seconds, before I realized that I got them in the wrong order because when you sort then, you always want to sort by the event time, not the, uh, but it's a good thing I caught it though because that could be, in, in theory, that could be, uh, something that's annoying to debug because here I'm sorting, I'm like, that doesn't make sense, does it? What I'm sorting at? And then I thankfully f fixed it. And this is just kind of, um, and again, some of this rustiness here is that I haven't done in a while, and you could kind of see it because I'm struggling a little bit to figure out how to uh, attack this. So I'm like, wait, I could just sum this. Uh, I, I was, but I, for these things, what we, we simplify it as much as you can. It's uh, it makes it a lot easier. And here I, I, now, I'm only looking at the transitions from zero to one. Uh, and and one to zero, but uh, but the and I, I think around here I was thinking like, hey, can you get two intervals? I guess not because they're not overlapping, because uh, that's constrained by the problem. Uh, so you can you could definitely get into negatives, but you, uh, the states from negative one to zero, uh, we don't really have to care about, uh, or at least we we uh, it's factored in by how we structure it. Uh, right there, uh, as long as we are from a beginning, which means we were one at from the start is not none means that it goes from z one to zero. So then it um, allow us to kind of create this event, um, and then that's this is essentially it. Uh, I actually have a typo. See if you could spot it if you're a Python person, you probably cringe at it, um, but you. As usual, I just kind of uh, make sure I have the two test cases at least in this case. I don't know how you came with one code when I knew there was going to be a compiler error. But, uh, and I just double checked the cases, and this, I feel, and I had a feeling that the second case was tough enough uh, to get that negative thing in the way, uh, like negative remove regions. So, uh, so I submitted it. Uh, and then test as much as the first one. Um, cool. Uh, delete tree node. Uh, so here, um, yeah, I, mean, I knew what to do uh, uh, almost immediately. Uh, it's just that uh, the presentation kind of caught me a little bit because at least in, in lead code, one thing that is good about lead code uh, is that for tree prompts, they usually just give you the notes and not like 
because a lot of places they give you like weird representation of you to, you have to construct a tree or something like that uh but in Nico usually they give you the node and then give you like children or, or, or left right nodes or something like that right uh but here um it they actually give you that quote unquote weird representation with you know parents and value so I was caught a little bit off guard and I'm like oh how did I do it then and I'm like debating between uh whether I should ex uh explicitly construct the uh uh, nodes and stuff like that. Like, should I be like, okay, um, you know, create a node tree and then figure it that way. Uh, but in terms of algorithm, um, well, first I actually, uh, I think at some point I thought that the, the value that we have to remove was with the the uh, the subtrees were um, were some value x, not not zero. Uh, and I double checked and it was zero. And what that it gives you. Um, Good properties in that you don't really have to, like if you do it recursion recursively, um, uh, if two subtrees sum to zero, it doesn't matter if there's subtrees within those subtrees sum to zero, right? Because you know we move them anyway. Um, so you only need to remove at the highest level, uh, and there's no like nothing weird. I mean, I guess that's. Um, so that's how I thought about it, uh, and I. I Basically, did it in a couple of passes, or I think two passes, uh, as you see. Uh, first of all, I constructed the, the children, so I could do the recursion from the top. Um, little rusty, uh, and also didn't sleep as much. These morning contests on the bi weeklies are a little tough for, <laughs> for me, but uh, uh, at least in terms of getting well rest. Um, so I, did, I, I don't know why I did this. Like I'm pretty confident in this one, but I just wanted to see that um, the tree gets constructed or like the inputs are what I expect them to be more than my code per se. But but yeah, I did want to check, remove the negative one just to be sure, but it didn't shouldn't matter. I mean, we wouldn't have visited it anyway, the node. But, uh, but just for like, mind clarity sake sometimes because uh, if you need to debug later you, you're gonna question everything and here I spent like 10 seconds trying to figure out what to name these things uh, and this is just the sum at each uh, node uh, and if I and some of that again I had to switch gear between um, given a node class and and stuff like this is because in Python I would have stored the value on the node itself so that um, I wouldn't have to like have some like outside thing, if you will. Here's a standard uh, recursion of, um, you know, given a node at this point, um, what is the sum of itself and all its children and then that's all uh, I have a I don't know in, in my haste uh, I did kind of um, I don't know, I'm a little rusty there but uh, I didn't really set up the uh, what's it called uh, the base case for that recursion as you, and I'll come back to fix it later but but um, but that should get to some you know uh, and the sub sum is just the sum of all its children's sub some so you if you do a recursion that way that's how I did it. Uh, here I just count the stuff, uh, almost in a very similar way. Um, but basically, um, I, I just counted the number of nodes that doesn't have. Uh, oh, uh, the thing with I think one. Um, jump I made here is that um, if the uh, if we remove a, 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 a node from the tree we just don't recurse that way and then uh, do recursion that way and then otherwise we just kind of um, we just count the number of nodes that we do see along the way uh, here I get zero I was like what why no sad face <laughs> but but that but I think retrospect was a good thing because um, I would hate to get, by luck, like uh, a correct answer. Um, 
well, here, I just forgot to return S in general, so that was kind of sad. Uh, and also, I didn't have a base case of counting 1, so it was always going to return uh, 0. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm st still glad that, because uh, sometimes you, uh, you know, and here I'm so sad, but yeah, sometimes you get the wrong answer, but you st still pass test cases, and that makes you sad, because it's such a silly thing. And here, I'm like, what's wrong? Let me look at the subset sum. Uh, or subtree somewhere. Right? Here, I'm like, oh, that's... The root should not be zero, and I'm like, okay, I just didn't set the value. I didn't even use the value in the input, so <laughs> this is the first time I'm typing the word value. <laughs> um, and I was just wasn't sure, but did get the right answer, and I was relatively confident. wasn't Didn't think the damage edge cases, uh, but I still was happy that like I got it on the first try because sometimes, I mean, I was. Confident, but not 100%. Ooh, you finish. 100% confident, I guess. Here, um, yeah, I just want to get a good gauge of how long people took on this problem. Um, I think immediately I was trying to think too hard on some kind of uh, some kind of like dividing. Um, like dividing a row up into different places. Um, and I think uh, immediately I knew this was uh, some sort of divide and conquer and just divide the row into chunks. Um, I think uh, yeah, I mean, I think it wouldn't have been too tricky, but I, I think what I was opting for was uh, uh, just coding simplicity. Uh, and here, uh, as you may have noticed on a ranking, uh, I, at this point, I think I was like top 10 or something like that. So I was like, okay, if I could get this done very quickly, then you know, I have a good chance of being in top 10, right, obviously. Um, but uh, so I knew that I needed to divide the conquer. Uh, uh, I think one thing that um, I was aware about dividing conquer is that it degenerates to be like linear in the number of shifts or something like that. Uh, but then I noticed that there's at most 10 shifts, so I was like, okay, I don't have to worry about this. Uh, or so I thought. Dong, dong, dong. And now that I think about it, uh, I mean, I didn't think about this at this time, uh, because I really wanted to focus on doing the symbol thing, and I wasn't worrying about uh, uh, complexity, though with the constraint, you... you uh, you have to do something logarithmic, right? Obviously, you can't do anything like um, uh, uh, linear in terms of the number of points in, on a space where it's within a where there could be a million points or something like or points in a space, not the points, not the ships. Here, I'm just still thinking about it. Uh, I was like, okay, is that really the way to do it? Um, I think looking back, uh, I definitely wasted a lot of time here. I just wasn't sure that uh, I could fit it in uh, in time uh, in terms of like the uh, the number of cores and whether that's efficient enough. I, I had a little bit uh, skeptic, like I was a little bit of a skeptic on that one. Yeah, a lot of reading. <laughs> because, again, I was not confident about this. And it was also just double checking on the API and reading about, like, this is a way um, different problem in that they give you a call to do. So I just want to make sure that I wasn't doing anything funky. Uh, and really looking into constraints. Uh, I, I think I also double checked that, like, um, like, how do we make sure that it will be some point? But I think, uh, well, yeah, at most 10 ships, but also that uh, you could, because it's inclusive, you could just bound your top right and bottom left to one point, uh, and that's okay. So I just wanted to make sure of that. But again, uh, here, I'm, 
I'm spending too much time like debating whether that's the right thing to do versus just doing it. Uh, and I think it's cost me a little bit. Uh, some of that is that I wasn't confident. And here you could see that I, I was just checking to see if anyone's already finished. Um, cause usually, uh, uh, like if it's really easy and someone finished then like that gives you a sense of, uh, the scope of the difficulty. But, um, but right here you see me commenting, uh, and that's why I'm not even confident about it. Uh, well not, that's why, but it's just that like, that's how not confident I am about it. Still look at the constraints and also just um, I mean here I'm just double checking a lot of stuff um, and I now I knew that I, I wanted to do a binary search on a, on each dimension separately. Uh, you can also make a divide and conquer argument for dividing it uh, into four pieces instead of uh, two pieces. But I wanted to keep it simple and I wasn't really thinking uh, too clearly at this point to be honest a little bit um, in terms of I just wanted to get it done. Uh, and this is a, a relatively standard binary search. So I kind of did something silly here uh, that I wasn't really thinking about uh, at the time. Um, though that's a little bit of a spoiler warning. <laughs> And also, a um, little bit rusty on the Python today, this morning, because uh, definitely feel like I've been in practice enough that I, I knew that this was not a, uh, I mean, that would have been, um, uh, what you would call it. Like, like, I should have known that that's not an integer division, right? but uh, I was a little bit rusty. Here, uh, I just do a very basic uh, binary search. This is, oh, not binary search, but uh, it's similar to a binary search for divide and conquer. Um, I think I, what I wanted to do is nail it down so that it's uh, within single points uh, on the x-axis and high ends find the x's. Uh, <laughs> On x coordinates, not your x point coordinate. <laughs> I would also say, um, Fatigue definitely comes into it a little bit. I was definitely a little bit tired at this point. Uh, this is about 23 minutes in, which I know is not a long contest, uh, and it's not something that, uh, um, you know, I was just really tired. Uh, and I think having endurance matters, uh, obviously, but even more so when, uh, yeah, uh, when you're trying to. Speak sprint for that long. Uh, here I just wanted to see if I have to write things the right way and points not subscriptable and I was like oh yeah these are points not because uh, uh, usually uh, I think I made a lot of assumptions here I mean it's a easy fix I think I just assumed that um, uh, it was a, a two element array which they give a lot so I don't know why they mix it up but I guess if they're going to give you an OOP-ish thing, uh, they might as well do it consistently, which I appreciate. I just didn't expect it. Uh, and then here I, I have trouble understanding what's going on, uh, but that it turns out that the hash ship, and I was just putting things out, but it's just that C dot has ships uh, takes in uh, corners um, and not you know, just points. So that's where that uh, issue was.
here I'm just reading the API and the explanation. I'm like, oh, okay, I just need to do two points. And then now I have to recalibrate my mind of like, okay, uh, uh, you know, what's on the bottom, what's on the top or left and right. Um, and yeah. Did get to it, but yeah. But, but yeah, they have it swapped in the top right, and it's in the first API, so I had to make sure that I swap in a good place. Um, so I think one thing to note, and this is a little bit uh, of a foreshadowing, is that. Um, uh, for binary search, this is okay. Um, I mean, obviously, this is not binary search. Um, well, one is I forgot to return this. So there's a couple of bugs here that I'm just careless about. Uh, and I had to print it out to see why. Um, but yeah, in binary search, uh, it's okay because you're always going to chop half. Um, here, I noticed that I needed to use integer division. But... It doesn't explain the recursion, but it takes me an extra minute. So this actually, I mean, this is silly, and it took me like about a minute or two to fix uh, in total, which is kind of, and like, you know, interrupting my flow and stuff like this, right? I was like, okay, why is this not doing well? And then it's because I don't return. But, you know, silliness. Uh, but the, the thing is that here, I'm not actually binary search, and I think this was a hint to me that uh, I have duplicate numbers. Uh, I didn't really dig into it that much. I just assumed that uh, I have enough calls, but um, so I just did. Uh, uh, I just removed the dupes, uh, but it's a little bit of a foreshadowing because what I should have done is make sure that um, yeah, because I, I think what, it actually didn't come up here. Now that I look at it. But um, but if you can imagine if you look at the code right now, uh, if if mid is one of those points, uh, it would keep on recursing with mid being one of the boundaries, and then it would uh, uh, and at that point would show up x time or like a lot like a couple of times, uh, and that comes up to bite me in the number of calls that I need to make later. Um, but I, I mean it's still kind of mostly right, but it's just that that was one of the reasons. Um, So here I'm about 27 minutes in. Uh, still a little bit away from the end though, but I did waste a good amount of minutes on this, unfortunately. Uh, like starting up and getting ready even. Again, this is essentially the same uh, recursion, uh, which is unfortunate, maybe. But uh, I changed to where it was probably not necessary, necessary, but just just a few places to be debug later. I think at this point, my mental state is. Um, just get it done. I don't have to rush anymore. I don't. I think I'm in a good place. Uh, as long as I get it done, I'll be, I'll be okay. I mean, I'm not gonna be top ten, but that's okay. Uh, Wherever the base case later. Uh, here, just again the same thing. And I have to kind of visualize this a little bit. The top and the bottom.
I'm just making sure to get it right. I'm like, no, you, you, you're given X. Come on, use it. Okay, there you go. Like, that's not right. And that's pretty much uh, a good part of it. Ooh, caught that one. That might have been. I generally do this just to, uh, I don't have to worry about off by once. Uh, but this also bit back come back to bait me a little bit so I was just over in the number of cores so a lot of these silly off by ones matter um, and again I forget to return because I that also cost me like a minute and try um, here I, I refracted without fixing all the places having an ID but I've fixed that but I don't need to clear it I, I I think one thing I have to uh, and and some of that is because I don't I don't feel like this is generally generally this is that pattern in coding uh, like regular Python coding so I always forget when to use global and non-local um, but yeah so this is what cost me a couple of minutes because um, I forgot to return again from the base case I need to kind of um, I think that's where good muscle memory comes into play and maybe I'm a little bit tired because usually when you do the base case you just return directly uh, and, that, and, and that's usually good enough um, or like you just don't think about it because you do it so like muscle memory and like reflexively right uh, here at the point I'm like huh how does it why does it go bigger and then I think eventually I do catch that but it definitely wasted a good amount of my time just like being confused <laughs> that would be sad. Just return. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize I spent close to two minutes on fixing that. I was looking at all the code. Um, this is uh, country I got it, but that wow, that was a minute and a half. So that was a not a great use of time. Um, here I was like, okay, at least I got some answers. Uh, I thought it would be right, but let's print it out. because uh, 6 is not great and then I realized I was getting duplicates hmm. and I looked at the input just in case uh, but clearly duplicates are not okay here the head and tail doesn't I mean I need also the context of an X but I do end up spending a couple of minutes uh, debugging this. And I was like, okay, I mean, that's fine. They're all in the different coordinates. Uh, I mean, we're just seeing duplicates. And how do you handle a duplicate? Uh, and I think one thing you could have taken advantage of uh, taken advantage of that I did not was that um, because these are on the points um, you almost 
on your queries, uh, you don't need to be exact middle. Uh, you could, or like, you could check if you will, do your query between two points uh, and then separate the point that way, but I didn't do it that way. I just, you know, did the very naive thing of, um, oh, well, I'm still debugging. Oh. I was like, okay, so these are the points that I'm adding to the database. Um, or looking at, uh, so th so I noticed that they come from different heads and tails, uh, and I, I think right now I still wasn't like I didn't care about uh, performance in terms of the API calls, uh, so I just kind of did this, and then I submitted. I I think what I think I definitely rushed it a little bit at this point. Uh, submission. Um, oh. Oh, I just checked the bigger boundary box. But yeah, I definitely rushed a little bit for this case because I even test file, wow, I, I test a couple of cases uh, just to make sure. But I didn't test a case where it has 10 um, numbers for whatever reason. Uh, and then that turned on the course, I was like, oh, no. very unhappy uh, with a nine case. Uh, so I should have done that. Um, and then here I'm like, well, how do I optimize? Am I using the right algorithm? Usually they give you a lot of uh, breathing room in the API course. Um, so I'm, I was like, well, maybe I'm using the right wrong algorithm, um, but but yeah, I was gonna just put this in, and I was debating even submitting this to be honest. Um, well, and then I forgot to we uh, we and this goes in the infinite loop because I forget to increment. A lot of silly mistakes here. So a lot of place to improve. Uh, and if you know about me, I'm all about finding places to improve. <laughs> so uh, I was debating submitting this. Um, but I was like, is this really going to make me enough? Uh, and then luckily I remember to run the test and I was like, well, nope, still not good enough. Uh, what else can I do? Um, I actually don't know how, where my head, and I double checked the score just to see a lot of people submit it. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't remember quite, to be honest, uh, where my head is at at this point. Um, because... I re I noticed that um, like I think I came or I I realized why it was bad afterwards or like immediately afterwards, uh, but I'm not sure how I came up with it. But I, but I just realized that I was recur doing too many recursions. This thing I was trying to look at the problem to see if I noticed anything obvious with um, you know I was still like at most ten cases. Um, here, look at my recursion. I'm like, okay, maybe my binary search is just being stupid. Uh, I mean, di again, sorry, divide and conquer. Um, I'm like, okay, maximum recursion tab. Why is that? Uh, and then I end up pointing that out. And the reason why is because uh, it always is off by one, the way we were doing it. Because mid uh, is integer division, so. I was like, okay, why don't we just, you know, change mid. I was also debating going back to the X and then doing that, but... Uh, I just wanted to see if this works first. I was like, wow. And to be honest, when I submit this, I wasn't confident and I have to do, uh, um, maybe just like do testing later just to see how, how much I improve by. Um, but yeah, but that's it. Well, see y'all later. Uh. 
Shift on, uh, that took way too long. <clears throat> hmm. Welp. <laughs> uh, that was tiring. Um, you would do it. That off by one cost me some time. Yeah, I just was. I. Okay, let's go over the palms and then we'll see. <laughs> yeah, so, so the first one, um, man. I was pretty good after three palms, but that last one got me. Uh, and this is not said yet because people are still submitting, right? So there'll be a, there'll be a five minutes. So I'm, I'll go over the palms. Um, man, okay. So the first one, um, let's see. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so I convert it to hex. Um, and then I just check the conditions in the contest. Um, the three and, I think I, I, I spent too long just trying to figure out uh, whether I want to do it manually or just do it uh, some kind of clever Python string way uh, that on that clever bit still. Um, but yeah, that that's the longest time. Uh, I spent four minutes, which I think I could have been shorter, but a lot of people have similar, I mean, like, you don't see many one-minute people, so maybe I'm, you know, I mean, I could still be better, but eh, I'm okay with that. Um, we move into it. So this is what one of my favorite things to do is do a, a, a sliding window thing uh, and look at it as events. Um, actually, fun fact, I asked a variation of this for an interview a way back. Um, but yeah, and then just kind of keep track of uh, when an interval begins and when it ends. Uh, and there's no, because of the way that this uh, the constraints are constructed, uh, there's no way to um, to have more uh, an, uh, to have anything that's not a zero or one, like you can't have a two. Uh, though I guess in theory you can have negative one, but that's fine because uh, then the new interval would only bring it to zero, so it would never get added. Um, took four minutes. I did okay. I mean, I knew it right off the bat. I just kind of a little bit rusty about this. I mean, not super rusty, but just haven't done it in a while. So I was trying to think about the order, and I even did some uh, uh, the order incorrectly. But yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, it's okay. The lead tree node. I think this one was a little weird one because uh, um, usually, at least in Python, uh, they would give you like a node class and then you just go through it. So I was like, ready, expect, uh, ready to do it that way. Um, but but instead, I just kind of uh, have to generate the ch children, which is most of the problem, and then just recursively go through also, I forgot to set the value. I think that would also cost me a minute or two. Uh, that took seven minutes, which really shouldn't happen. Um, how many points was that? Five points. So yeah, that really shouldn't happen. Seven minutes is a little too slow. I want to think, but I, I mean, when you get it, you get it. It's fine. Uh, it's just that I don't know. Hmm. I think I was just not su super, super sure on which way to go on the recursion. I mean, I think there's some hesitation there, and that kind of cost me a couple of minutes. Um, number of ships in a rectangle. Uh, yeah. So I'm probably like 40 of something like that. Yeah. No. It hasn't been five minutes yet, has it? I guess so, actually. No. 40 to 44, so. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, what I did, uh, and and I end up spending, I guess, six or like three minutes debugging and the five minutes penalty, so that would have been eight minutes. So I could have been 36-ish. Uh, so that was just me being a little careless uh, with the off by ones in the binary search uh, or divide and conquer. Um, Yeah, I, mean, I could have and should have gone this way the first time. I think I was just a little bit uh, careless, and but okay. So explain the problem first. The problem, uh, basically, what I do is I just divide and conquer. Uh, I think the thing that I 
spend about a minute thinking about is uh, what if there are a lot of shifts, which it degener degenerates to being linear, um, but linear in a not a good way. But because there are at most 10 shifts, uh, I thought it would be okay. And I, and I thought that I'm way more, um, way more, uh, let's see. But maybe I didn't. I, I thought I had way more, way more leeway with the kind of the number of API calls of four hundred. I didn't really do the math. I should have. Uh, and um, but apparently I was really close, and that led up to me being. Uh, and I still wasn't sure at the end, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if I had just probably did a divide and conquer. Uh, than it would have done. But basically what I did with Divine Conquer is like, okay, if a region contains, um, and you start with the region you're looking for, uh, if the region contains uh, at least one point, that means I, th that it might or might not contain points in the left or the right. Um, and then you keep on, and if it contains re uh, uh, points in the left and then points uh, recurse left, if the point, uh, with contains points in the right, we do a recursion right and then keep on going until you have, uh, so I, at first I did it in one dimension or the X dimension so that you can do these like uh, uh, single points. Uh, so I put them all in X's and then I do it the same thing for each of the Y's or you, for each X, I do it for the Y. Um, I guess my issue was that I was double counting probably, uh, well, double counting for one because uh, I really didn't think that I was coming close on the API. Uh, but apparently I was, and I was probably doing the same uh, Y number a couple of times, and that, like, I think if one of the mids, if one of the mids were, uh, were, were a point, it keeps on do doing recursion, and that's probably why I was having a lot of issues um, with the API. So maybe, I mean, I'll have to run some tests later to kind of see how many recursions I was doing uh, or how many uh, calls I was making now that I fixed this but I was just over it. even with that mistake it was like 420 right so yeah okay let's see if I think I can get uh, 36 uh, really should have done I mean I, I guess I say that a bit but I really should have done better uh, man even just five minutes well if I didn't get it wrong the first time, even the five minutes, I would have been, eh, okay, only move up a little bit. So not a big deal. But, but um, yeah, hopefully, okay. Huh. Um, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in, well, I mean, you're going to skip right to the jump, so I'm going to review, uh, next, <laughs> I'm going to review other people's solutions. So still. Hey everybody, uh, so this is the end of the contest, I uh, finished 36, uh, could have been better, but I'm okay with it, uh, a little uh, intense because look at all these people submitting at about the same time, uh, if I did submission 5 seconds earlier, um, I would have been one more in the top 35 and you've been like, a lot of, t yeah, so it's a, in a way close contest, but let, now let's see, uh, let's see how I can learn from it, uh, yeah. <laughs> the first one, uh, again, is the hex one. Uh, definitely use more uh, functional programming here, which is great for him. Uh, and goes for, so he actually um, did the thing where he constructs it manually, so that's good for him. Uh, that would also probably why it's a little slower in terms of coding. Um, also manually, uh, yeah, I mean, Again, I still wish that they tell you, uh, you know, what language the stuff is. <clears throat> but again, uh, I mean, this is way compact and essentially the same as mine, but uh, except for I need to do that in one line. Uh, but in the rush of two minutes, uh, you get a wrong submission. That's what I was a little bit worried about as well. Um, yeah. I feel like a per person named Hexadecimal I have to dis do this one correctly or like really fast, right? <laughs> and then they really disappoint. Um, 
but <laughs> I did it manually though. Well, not to think that I did. Okay, so what was the second one? Second one was the oh the event one. Uh, and people did it really fast. Um, and that and certainly you could do cases of it. Uh, and the only set amount of cases. My guess is that he did it in parallel, so that uh, and ran into an off like an issue with the first one after checking it or something like that. Um, that's why the second one has looks like it's really fast. Um, but so I imagine I don't know. This is a I mean this I mean it clearly works, but it's a nightmare for me. So I wouldn't would not uh, appreciate that. Um, and that's why I prefer the event based one, just because uh, like I don't have to worry that much about like all the intersection stuff. That said, intersection is a pretty standard, um, uh, well known thing. So I, I'm not so. I'm not surprised that you could do it that quickly uh, and just think of the other enumeration of the cases. Um, actually, I was like pretty fast on the first two. I wonder what my time is. I mean, like, um, on the third one, I, even in the third one, I was relatively fast, but um, not on the third one, which is by the third one. Uh, again, uh, yeah, the two death first search one is seems like the way to go. What did I call? And C plus plus has a way of making everything unreadable. At least in 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 uh, competition or programming, programming contests anyway. Uh, I mean, I think I did okay. I mean, I I feel like everyone roughly did the same way. Um, yeah, you increase the, the oh, huh. Oh, you could do in one depth of search, which makes sense actually now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, for me, now that I think about it, it would, would have been just an if statement right before this and then just increment cap, and then that would have been, uh, yeah, and then that would have been really. Straightforward. I mean, it still was straightforward, so not, I, I don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, wow. I mean, this is essentially the same idea that I did, except for in a much less uh, uh, messy way. Uh, I guess he alternates pre uh, depending on the number of, uh, depending on x and y is bigger, then just goes to that. Uh, search for that chunk, uh, which is fine, um, and clearly working. Um, makes sense. Should have maybe done it this way. Uh, then you don't have to do it by force, but you still could do it this way. Um, hmm. Have to keep this in mind, actually. But otherwise, very clean. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean that that's why I do these code reviews. Is that like you have a way of um, like like you have the same idea, but you want to uh, um, represent it in a good way, and that's always tricky. Um, like we, we, most of us clearly have the same algorithm, but uh, wait, wait. But you know, getting it right, uh, coding it right, and you know, some people could do it in five lines of code, like here, where I did it in, I don't know, way too many lines of code. Um, man, uh, this is a very uh, fun solution. Um, I mean, obviously, it does the same thing. It's just, wow. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, this is actually pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's recursion on the kicker too, on the, uh, which makes sense actually, because essentially that's what you're doing. It's just you have to present it in a good way. Uh, 
that's how, why I took 24 minutes and he took 9 minutes. But yeah, but it seems like most people did a similar way. Hmm. Uh, and, but I think most people actually do the uh, search on the on the entire quadrant itself, uh, while I um, did it by the X and Ys. I, mean, I think that actually, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's why they're so much better in, in the number of API calls. Uh, and that's why I barely went over as a result of me being really careless about it, because uh, I wasn't really worried about it. But, uh, oh, well, okay. Uh, definitely something that to keep in mind in the future because uh, that cost me uh, about 8 minutes I remember like 38 minutes maybe uh, or 30, sorry, uh, like 37 minutes I probably should have finished that one even 5 minutes faster so if I got it within 30 minutes I, well okay so maybe not I can maybe make that assumption because that would have been top 10 but I was really fast on the top first 3 so I just really spent too long on this one um I would get faster at the hearts. But uh, overall, still a great contest. Uh, hope to see y'all, I guess, later today on the, the other contest. But um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, you know, hit like and subscribe and, you know, try to do a bunch of these in the future. Anyway, until next time.